First question. How can we reduce the stigma surrounding mental health issue among youth and promote an environment where open discussions about mental well-being are encouraged and supported? Today's generation is suffering with social pressure. We must conduct a seminar orientation in every barangay which everyone is welcome. And by doing that, we can make our society a better place to live in. Thank you. Thank you so much for candidate number three. And now, let's proceed to candidate number four. Miss Kristin May Pugado. Evening candidate number four. Here's your question. What will we do you believe social media influencer plays in shaping social opinions and trends? And how can they use their platforms in today's rapidly evolving digital landscape? Candidate number eight, you have your question. Here's your question. In today's society, the pursuit of social status infrequent, how would you encourage young individuals to define their self-worth beyond in external validations and cultivate a sense of personal fulfillment. People in this generation has become very obsessed when it comes to conforming to the standards that are being set by other people and of the society in general. In the journey of fitting into those certain standards, we tend to lose ourselves. We tend to lose the, our own identity. And so as your queen, what I can do is to encourage you to be your true, authentic self. Never lose yourself in the process of pleasing other people. Because ladies and gentlemen, because ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we are our own person. Let us start being our own self, be more of what we are and less of what they say. Because only by then, we can realize how beautiful life can be if we are to live this life the way we wanted it to be lived. Thank you. Very well said, candidate number eight. And now to the candidate, so let's proceed to candidate number nine. Here's your question. How would you how you well, how would you define the concept of beauty with a purpose? And how would you incorporate it into your role as a title holder? I do believe that the best definition of beauty is not how we perceive ourselves or how we perceive others. It is rather the willingness of one to make life beautiful for others. And as your future beauty queen, I stand here today with advocacy, which proves that beauty comes with a purpose. And that advocacy specifically purposeful and also targeted among the MBSS or M the collection of beauty standards and stereotypes because I do believe that each and one of us are beautiful and that we must show that to the world. Thank you.
to the last candidate number 12. Give up your question, candidate number 12. Here's your question. In the light of multi-based challenges confronting the youth today, including economic and our certain tests and social pressures, how would you advocate for policies or initiatives that specifically address and elevate the board is faced by younger generations. I can say that as a young individual, I can relate to this. There are times that I label myself as someone depending on other people or social pressure towards me. But I started to realize that what's important is not other people's opinion because you are more than that. And what's the important thing is how you see yourself. That is why I want to remind everyone that you are more than just other people think of you. Because they might know your name, but they don't know your story. Thank you. Thank you so much.